Hey, curbsiders, thanks for joining us on this latest episode about perioperative medicine for the internal medicine clinician. We learned so much from anesthesiologist Dr. Angela Selzer, including a walkthrough of the ASA physical classifications uh, or the ASA classes, uh, which were derived for research purposes to validate perioperative outcomes based on patients' comorbid conditions, but really do still apply in direct clinical practice, especially when we're attempting to calculate risk with the major risk calculators and triage tools. We know it can be difficult to determine one versus two, two versus three, and even three versus four. And five and six are probably not states that uh, internists will see in the office based on how sick those patients are. This infographic gives some really high yield examples of what types of conditions and how well they're controlled at baseline would label a patient two versus three or four. And check out the episode itself for Dr. Selzer's amazing teaching pearl about how to remember if a patient is ASA four or not. Hey, curbsiders, thanks for joining us on this latest episode about perioperative medicine for the internal medicine clinician. We learned so much from anesthesiologist Dr. Angela Selzer, including a walkthrough of the ASA physical classifications uh, or the ASA classes, uh, which were derived for research purposes to validate perioperative outcomes based on patients' comorbid conditions, but really do.